Approximately 53 million Americans provide care for young, old, sick, or disabled family members. And Fidelity Investments 2021 American Caregiver Study digs into what happens when indispensable work goes unpaid. Particularly given the pandemic, what is going on with caregivers? Fidelity's Stacey Watson's running down the findings. Let's start with the costs of caregiving, including your time. You have people that are caregiving for adults spending nearly 30 hours a week, and caregivers for children are spending nearly 60 hours. That's hard to square with full-time work, so? Many people decide they're gonna take a career break, but of those who do, over half said that they were out of the workforce longer than they expected. And then when they did return, they found a pay cut of 40% on average. 40%, and those aren't the only whammies. There are all these hidden costs, like missed promotion opportunity or lost opportunity to contribute to your retirement savings. There are several online resources that can help inform your decision. At fidelity.com slash caregiving, we actually now have launched a calculator that can help people look at the financial impact of leaving the workforce. Once you know the costs, it's time to make a plan. So set up a time to talk to your employer. The good news is that many companies now are actually offering caregiving benefits like increased time flexibility or days that you work. It could be providing financial support like childcare cost support, or it could be emotional support, like hooking you up with a professional who can help you think through the plan for your caregiving. Next, outside of work, make sure to rally your team. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Talk to other family members and identify different roles for people, including somebody who can help out when you just need a break. 88% of people who made a plan in advance said they felt they had a good support system in place versus only 65% of those without a plan. People who took the time to create a caregiving roadmap found that they had less stress, were better able to handle the unexpected, they had their social support all put in place, and ultimately they had a more joyous caregiving experience. Finally, be sure to take care of yourself too. Make time for self-care. Caregiving can be a really rewarding experience, but having that support system in place is critical. Whether it's yoga, a hobby, or just catching the newest release, have things that take your mind off caregiving. I know from my own experience when my dad was ill, how hard making that a priority can be, but it really makes a big difference and can help you not feel overwhelmed or burned out. As the flight attendants always say, you gotta put your own mask on before you can give oxygen to anyone else. The state of providing care in America is at the top of the list.